Hi, good evening, everybody, and a big welcome to all of you in the orientation session for SBL March 2024 attempt. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> so yesterday, the results were announced, and uh, there will be some students who were not successful. So today's session is specifically to talk with those students and try to advise them what should be the best line of action, all right? And I will be taking as much questions as you would like to ask. But before we start the question and answer session, just give me a few minutes so that I can first, you know, go through certain slides. And then I will open the floor for any kind of question, right? Right. So I'll just skip the usual slides and I'll just talk about a few slides. So the interesting thing about the December attempt was that the passing ratio in December was 52%. And if you see the historic graph, uh, fifty-two percent is the highest passing rate in the history of SBL. Earlier, the highest pass rate was fifty-one. This time, it has improved to fifty-two percent. And I think the the reason, one of the reason, could be of the pre-seen uh, material changes that now students are able to prepare a little bit better um, and able to perform better, right? So that's kind of good news. And uh, I'm sure you know all these things, but I just want to talk about this point that 50% of your SBL paper is common sense. By common sense, I mean that you don't really need to know any particular chapter or any particular topic or any particular model. You just need to exercise your common sense. For example, if one exhibit is given regarding, let's say, a, a proposal. So you are just supposed to think about the pros and the cons of that proposal based on the exhibit. So you don't need any theoretical or technical knowledge of any syllabus, right? So around 50% of the paper is like that. The reason I'm talking about this is that a lot of students, they want to focus more on the chapters, the theoretical side, the syllabus side. So they spend like 70, 80% time on memorizing all the syllabus. And then they spend just 20, 30% of the time in practice. Whereas, you know, only half the paper is based on theoretical knowledge. In reality, it should be the other way around that you should spend 30, 35, or let's say one third of your time on syllabus and two third of your time should be spent on drafting, practice, and mocks. Is that clear? The, the ratio. Less time on theoretical sub uh, topics and syllabus more time on actual practice now how how can you cover the entire syllabus in small time that's not possible so again you know you can focus on the top 25 important topics of sbl 90% of your past papers are covered through top 25 topics I have a separate video for top 25 important topics. I have a separate handout, summarized notes for top 25 topics. So please, you need to adopt a smart revision plan. Just focus on top 25. 
and then majority of the time you spend on drafting practice and mocks okay now this is a very interesting slide that what are the common reasons why students fail sbl and i have compiled this list by reading all the examiner's reports and in all the reports these are the reasons in the view of the examiner do you think it's important to know why students fail sbl from the eyes of the examiner absolutely yes because if you know why students fail SBL, then you can try and avoid those things. You can, from beforehand, you can practice in such a manner that you don't fall in that, you know, uh, that risk. So what are those uh, reasons? The number one, number one reason why examiner fail student is because answers are not linked with the exhibits very important number two reason is students you know just copy paste material from the exhibits without adding their own comments so you need to explain your point in your own words and then overspending time on one particular question normally the first question so most students they tend to overspend the allowed time in one particular question and uh, i call this time trap question it's trapping you so if you overspend time on any one particular question you are in deep shit because what you are actually doing is you are hijacking the time of the other questions and by the time you reach the end you will not be able to complete the paper right because you overspent time on one particular question it's bad time management and then the fourth reason is not completing the entire paper so obviously if you don't focus on time management you will not be able to complete the paper right and if you are not able to complete the paper, then it is very difficult to pass at least in SBL. You need to attempt at least 90, 95% of the paper in order to score 52, 55, something like that. And then poor technical knowledge. For this, you can use my top 25 handouts and videos. Insufficient number of points. Uh, students not doing practice or mocks on CBE platform and sometimes weak typing and formatting skills. So these are the eight most common, most repetitive reasons from the examiner. So please, now you know that these are the pitfalls. These are the areas where examiner, they fail students. So please from right now try to avoid these mistakes okay i have mentioned the solutions for each of them so please make sure that do you do not do these errors or mistakes okay any question on this slide you can ask this is an important slide i don't want to proceed unless there is no questions any questions on this slide now a slide for research students who had given the paper in december and were not able to clear so this slide will give you some indication of what could have gone wrong so how many of the students scored less than 45 please write me how many students scored less than 45? Please write me in the chat box. One, two. All right, good enough. So those students who score, who score is less than 45, it, it shows that you have weak technical knowledge, which means that your concepts are not clear. 
So you need to focus, give some time on the chapters and the important topics. Again, you can just focus, forget about the book. Just revise the important topics through my top 25 video and handout. Okay. You, and then other than the technical uh, weakness, uh, you know, uh, conceptual issues, you might have given some general answers not properly linked with the scenario or you unnecessarily use models. Okay, so please brush up your technical or theoretical knowledge by using my top 25 video. All right. Now, how many students scored more than 45? Please write me. One, two, four, five, six. All right. So a lot of students scored between 45 and 49. So when you score in, in 45 to 49, this tells us that you have decent theoretical knowledge. Your concepts are okay. Your theory side, your syllabus side is okay. There is no problem there. But what you lack is probably weak drafting or weak linking, or you may not have focused on professional marks and formats, or maybe you were not able to complete the paper in sufficient number of mocks, number of points, lack of time-based mocks. So, you know, the practice side is weak. Now, is there anyone in the group who's, who, who gave two paper together in, in December? Anyone who gave two papers in December? No one? Okay. So normally that is also a possibility that I've seen in my experience, I've seen a lot of students failing SBL when they give two papers together, right? So again, why I brought this up is, is that if in March, you are planning to give two papers, one SBL and the second paper could be any other subject, it's not a good strategy. Because I have seen that whenever someone gives SBL plus another, any other subject, 90% chance is that SBL will get stuck because the exam technique of SBL is completely different from any other paper. So students, they tend to mix up the techniques sometimes subconsciously, right? So please, if possible, give SBL as a standalone paper. Now, those of you who scored less than 45 marks, which shows that you lack theoretical knowledge, you must join my reset batch, okay? Reset batch is the right product for you because there are all the lectures there. There will be extra uh, question practice and extra life classes for you guys. You need more help. But those of you who scored between 45 and 49, you don't need to uh, join the reset batch because your theoretical concepts are clear. All you need to do is a little bit of extra practice. So for you guys, the revision batch is more suitable where there will be no lectures, no uh, you know theory. It's all past papers and mocks. Exam changes in SBL for September, no need to discuss because most of you are familiar. Okay, so the recent batch, which is more suitable for students who scored less than 45 marks, it is starting from 19th Jan. And basically, you will be joining the regular batch midway. 
you will have access to all chapters and contents access to all previous recordings plus all future classes and practice classes past paper practice pre seen material everything included just like a regular batch okay and the study plan for then the study plan for recent batches that there will be video lectures uh, you will be having live classes every Sunday. So these two classes have already happened. You can watch the recording, but these two classes you can still catch, a, you know, join if you have enrolled. And then we will be doing full drafting from 6th of Feb. We will be, you know, solving five to six case studies. Um, there'll be a lot of, a lot of classes, uh, a separate timetable will be issued. Then you will be in, mocks exams are included. Two to three mocks are included and pre-seen material is also included. Grand revision, all these things will be there. The recent, for recent batch, the price after special discount is $154. And this is for Pakistan-based students. And for revision batch, which is starting from 6th of Feb, the price is $105 or 15,000 PKRs. What is the main difference between these two? The content. In revision batch, there is no lectures, no extra questions. Um, obviously, it's just past paper practice. Okay, rest all is the same. Now, this is the plan for self-study students who don't want to join any classes for any reason. Then please, you follow this plan. This is a tried and tested plan. And a lot of self-study students have scored good marks by using this plan. Just follow this plan as it is step by step. Okay, you can take a screenshot of this. Uh, and I can also share this handout on the various WhatsApp group. My last message is stay away from books and revision kits. Why? Because half the paper is common sense. Uh, practice is more important than theoretical knowledge. And lastly, you don't have that much time. It's only six weeks. So you cannot go into books and kits. Just follow my uh, top 25 notes. And uh, if you can attend my live classes, past papers, that's more than enough. Okay. These are the contact details. If you want more details or inquiries about the reset badge or the revision badge, you can WhatsApp on this number. And now I am ready for your questions. So there are two ways you can ask questions, right? One way is you can unmute your mic and you can speak when I call your name. If you don't have a mic, then you can type your question in the chat box and I will go through it one by one. But please don't type right now. I want to first take uh verbal questions and then i'll move towards text box so whoever has a question wants to ask verbally please unmute your mic edmund hello sir hi how are you i'm doing well all right what's your question edmund so um i try to study with you about six things ago that was my first attempt and i got 38 ever since i've never tried sbl again now i want to write in march 2024 do you suggest i join the 19th gen uh, uh, cohort or i should join the 6th february well since you have scored 38 in your previous attempt, I think reset batch is more important for you because you need to revise the contents and to do a little bit extra practice. 
Are you a working student or a full-time student? I'm a working student. How many hours can you give to SBL studies on a daily basis? Um, I can do between six to seven hours. Or daily? Yes. Wow, that's a lot. That's more than enough. So, okay. The first choice is you can join the reset batch. The other option is if you don't want to join the reset batch, then you must join the revision batch in which we will do a lot of practice. But you must cover your theoretical knowledge before joining that batch through my top 25 topics. Okay, I okay. just want to join the I want to join the uh, research batch. But uh, my Perfect. worry is uh, the last time I used a friend who was in Dubai to make payments. I'm in Ghana mm -hmm. and I think it's I don't know how to make payment because they say I should use PayPal to make payments and it's a bit difficult. I don't know whether you have somebody who have made payments from Ghana before. Or how um, do I, make I don't can, can you connect to me or can you check with my admin and we will try to sort it out? Yes, please. You know, uh, I also yeah. uh, I also chat to you uh, some time back, Edmund Tetzer, you remember? Just this I week. think I remember, yeah, I think, yes, yeah, yes. I was about chat to you call separately. that. We'll, we'll continue that chat. <laughs> okay. All right. All right, done. Okay, Amira. Uh, yes, hello, sir. Uh, it's I, me. I, I think I uh, messaged you this morning uh, on WhatsApp as well, and you give me uh -huh. your number to contact. So uh, just telling you that uh, this is my first time. I never did any exam before. Uh, I had a classes in university about three, four months, and I got the book as well, but I never did any mock exam or anything. So it, to be honest, like it's everything new for me. So what's the... <laughs> you've SBL before? No, I haven't done any SPL before. I only did, uh, um, uh, I go to only classes in the university for, that was last year in January to March, uh, no, April, four months. And then after that, I didn't uh, do anything. I hope you have forgotten all that scrap. Yes. <laughs> yes. So That's kind of good news because now you are a clean slate. Yeah. So, all right. So then, uh, um, um, it is very much possible, but how much time can you give on a daily basis? I can give up to uh, three hours every day. Good. Good. So I think you should join the reset batch mm -hmm. and to revise your theoretical side, you must watch my top 25 video and handout. Okay. I will. Yep. It's a six hour video in six hours you will be able to cover 25 most important topics okay. of SBL, right? Yeah. It's not a big deal. Mm -hmm. In two days' time, you will cover your theoretical site and you join my reset batch so that we can start practicing. Next, the next live class is on Sunday afternoon. Okay, that's brilliant. Great. So right. I will sort out uh, like all the like enrollment and everything. Okay. okay. All right. Yep. And um, what else? I, I want to ask something else as well. I forgot now. Um, I think it's okay. I'll, I'll ask you some other time. I forgot now. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. Bye. Uh, any other verbal questions, guys? Mm -hmm. You can unmute your mic. Shakti Mittal. Hi, sir. Good evening. Good evening. So, so I was a regular student from your December batch and I scored 46. But sir, I had like followed almost all the techniques you had taught in the class, but yet I don't know why did I fail. So what should be my approach? It's like I it's tried to... So I tried to link my answer. I uh, used the opening statement. I elaborated my points and I even used the, uh, the uh, mission vision values which you had asked to use from the pre-scene and I had developed like two to three state uh, two, two to three sentence points uh, and I had also written sufficient points Even the bouncer question was integrated reporting we had worked so hard I wrote that as well but I don't know 
what went wrong. Yeah, but it sounds correct to me, but sometimes it happens uh, that some good students in SBL, I've seen this many times, that some good students are not able to clear it in the first attempt. Maybe it might be due to some exam stress or exam anxiety during those four hours. You might think that you have done things right, but maybe in the eyes of examiner, something was missing, right? Uh, do you remember how much you scored in your mock exam? Yes, sir. It was 30. <laughs> sir, but that time I was not well prepared for. Because, sir, uh, I scored 30 out of 60 marks. I had written and uh, in the exam, yeah. I wrote about 80 to 86 marks. So that's perfect, right? In, in the mock, you did 60, you attempted 60 and you got 30, right? 50%. Yes, sir. In your exam, you attempted how much? 80 to 85% of marks. So if you, let's say, at, attempted 85 and you got 46, that's not bad. You are pass in terms of percentage, right? Yes, sir. But do you remember in previous slide, I said that it's very important to complete the paper. I think if you would have done 100% paper, you might have passed. Okay. So, but uh, the thing is, uh, there was one question I remember. Uh, there was this task one, which had two risk uh, related question, which we had worked on. So the first one was for 18 marks and the second one was also for 18 marks. The first one was quite good. I wrote about four to five points along with the action. But the second one, I was not able to write much, but I pushed it at the end. And then I wrote something to just get rid of it. Uh, maybe that could be a problem that... But sir, uh, in yeah. every session, you have told now that there will be some or the other question like that. And so how do I get rid yeah, of this? So just uh, two things. Just try to focus a bit more on your time management so that you're able to attempt 100% paper, not 80-85%. Okay, that's too less. Okay. And number two, uh, you must score at least 55 to 60 marks in the mocks. Okay, sir. Right? So do you plan to join the reset, uh, sorry, the revision batch? Sir, till now I haven't uh, decided. I'll think about it in like one or two days. And yeah, I think it will be helpful um, because it will help you revise these things. And secondly, it will also cover the pre scene and all those things. So might as well, it will be beneficial if you join. Yes, sir. I'll think about it, sir. Uh, Thank sure. you, sir. All right. Okay. El Shad. Hi, sir. Thank you very Hi. much. Uh, it was a pleasure. I I always listen to your lectures for your insights you should you gave to the students and I appreciate you for your help. And I have some you questions concerning uh, who will who will mark the mock exams during the preparation and how will you know sometimes you know uh there is a difference between the professional markers and um like the assistants like i would say uh, sometimes i realize that i don't get understand some part of the requirements that's why the main could be the main reason why i fell outside or i get nervous or something else yeah all right so there are two parts to your question so the first one is in my mock exam one mock a script is checked and yes. I personally check the script, right? I check myself. Do you write the feedbacks to the each students how to develop their, uh, which part or which, where they are weak, if they will have the weaknesses yes. where they have strengths? Yes, I don't give very detailed feedback, but all the major weaknesses, like an insufficient number of points or whatever is missed out, I do it. Okay. Thank you very much. Actually, I'm not Part to be your student. Your uh -huh. Sorry, go ahead. No, oh, can I join your receipt classes? I got a 30, yeah, sure. 43. 43? Uh, yeah. Now you, it's up to you. If you think 
that your theoretical concepts are good enough, then you can directly join the revision batch. But if you think that you need some extra practice, some extra theoretical support, then you join the recent batch. Okay, thank you. I will try, inshallah. Thanks. But there was one more thing which you had asked that sometimes you are not able to understand the requirement and you sometimes get confused. That is quite natural. Many students, they face this. So the only way to handle this is you break the requirements into smaller chunks. Okay. To try okay. to break it down, simplify it into smaller chunks, and then you will be able to understand what exactly is required. It will come through practice. Okay. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Bye. Well, welcome. Hamza. Uh, hi, sir. Am I audible? Yes. Uh, uh, sir, I'm just here to thank you. Uh, I was your self-study student uh, in December attempt, and I got 60. And uh, oh. I I used your self-study plan, and uh, I took your uh, paid precinct. And uh, your that tips and tricks that worked, alhamdulillah. And uh, I just uh, wanted to share one or two things that uh, just like you said, 50% uh, paper common sense, sir, it was even more than 50% of the paper was common sense. And uh, right, and some of the exhibits, uh, uh, some in, in my attempt, some of the exhibits were like useless in terms of content, like the, for taking points. So I brought my own points from common sense and I linked with the pre-scene. I linked very much with the pre-scene in the paper. Amazing. So it worked. It worked. <laughs> so uh, you you actually joined today to thank me and share your experience. You are not yes, a yeah. recent student. <laughs> yes, sir. I just wanted to thank you. Oh, that's so <laughs> sweet of you. I'm really honored. And I think that just your thought of sharing yes, you know thanking me is one thing that's besides yeah. the point but sharing your experience with the fellow students of you know how you did self-study and what was your that's very thoughtful of you i really appreciate that yes God bless thank you. you thank you thank you so much Hamza, thank you so much ashraf yasin hello sir, sir well, I, I remember were you in my batch? I remember this name. Yes, yes, yes. Sir. Tell me. Sir, my problem, actually, I follow your uh, technique, but whenever I, uh, during the exam, uh, during the exam, I face some issue. Uh, like, I, whenever I read the requirement in uh, example, I face difficulty to understand. I have to read uh, right. uh, two or three times more that it makes me stress. Right. Then yeah. I also face that difficult to uh, address the requirement. Uh, actually, what the uh, answer my answer tone will be, uh, or what the drafting uh, tone will be, and so I less focus. I put less focus on the professional marks, and sometimes I feel uh, I feel that I have uh, difficulty to digest lots of information at a time. True. That, uh, so did you give the paper in December, Ashraf? Yes, 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 December. I got 45. What was your score? 45, 45. not bad. That's and not bad. The number of problems you are counting, I thought you might score in 30s. And how uh, much you scored in my mock? Sir, I, in your mock, I answer, uh, uh, I uh, did mock my VTM, September uh, VTM, not December VTM. Uh, you uh, may relate uh, September VTM, which is less yeah, easy, yeah. Uh, that I got also 45 in my mock. So in the mock 45 and in real 45, yeah? Yes. And as well, this is not only my second, uh, maybe this is my fourth. Time. Are you just giving SBL or you gave any other paper? All paper are complete, my, my SSC. I just uh, oh. struck SBL last uh, uh, from 2022. Oh my God. Okay. 
So Ashraf, my friend, your only choice, you don't have a lot of choices, options now. You need to continue practicing till you score at least 55 marks in mocks. Once you score 55, 60 marks in mocks, you will be safe in the real exam. There is no other but, option you have. Sir, I face whenever I, during the exam hall, only the exam hall, I face, I uh, face this similar problem. Uh, I don't understand the requirement uh, and yeah. how to relate my uh, answer. Yeah, that's, that's exam, exam phobia. Yes. So, there is no, no, you see, medicine for that. You think you know, you know a good CFO should not stress out, right? Yes, yes. So I think the uh, next time you go into your exam, you think like a CFO that you are a CFO and you should not stress out. It's all about self confidence because in the regular classes you are okay, but when you sit in the exam, you stress out. So. There is no medicine for that. It's only your self-confidence, the way you think and the way you carry yourself in the exam. Yes, sir. And I uh, so answer. That, you, uh, see, you have cleared time. all the papers two years back. So you are not dumb. Yes. You have cleared all the papers two years back. Only SBL is left. So that should give you some confidence that, you know, you have cleared all the difficult papers and this time you should have a little bit more confidence during the exam. Yes. Okay. All right, Ashraf. Anyone else who have verbal questions before I move to chat box? If you have, unmute your mic and I will be happy to take your question. No one? Okay, let me move but, towards... Um... Okay. Oh, it's how are you, Toyin? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm good. Tell <laughs> it's me been what's... a while. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so since the last time I sat SBL, I've not actually passed it. And um, I think I left it for a while. And then the precinct came in and, you know... Um, well, the different things with it. So I was actually thinking of sitting it in March. And, um, you know, I don't really know how to go about it, as you know, my history um, on mm -hmm. SBL. So I just want to ask for your direction, basically. Sure. So you have not given SBL under the new pre-scene structure? No, I haven't. Okay, so then there is good news that, in my view, the pre-scene has made life a lot more easier. Okay. So just, you know, uh, revise my top 25 videos before you join. And uh, we will do the practice and then we will spend time on pre-scene in detail. Okay. So, um, which one are you advising me to actually go on? The revision? Uh, re go for revision. Are you working or retired these days? Well, I'm a, I'm, an, I'm a consultant now. Oh, that's good. So, okay, go for revision. Uh, just revise the topics through my top 25 and join the revision batch so that you know, you can get up to speed with practice and drafting. And then we, we will have a pre-scene workshop in which we will discuss the case study in detail. And hopefully you will pass this time. Okay. Is that actually on the YouTube, your top 25? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. Good to see you. Hi, sir. Right. Yes, Hanan. Yes, uh, Hanan here. Uh, sir, I have attended a SPL exam in September 2023 session and uh, I have acquired uh, 44 marks and uh, my study uh, strategy was I, I, I have enrolled in a different uh, class and I have watched your webinars, three to four webinars from YouTube. 
uh, and uh, in that se- session i didn't uh, attended any mocks or i there was lack of practice and uh, for the march 2024 session i am preparing for sbl exam and what should be my strategy is your theoretical knowledge reasonable are you confident about your theoretical yes uh, yes i am confident in my th- theoretical knowledge uh, i'm looking for more practice sessions and all yeah and i think you should enroll in my revision batch we will cover all exam techniques practice drafting in detail okay all okay right. sir thank you okay maria maria your mic is not working no maria your mic is not working i call your name again karen naip hi sir am i audible Yes, dear. Yeah. Uh, so I have been a student of your regular batch uh, in the December attempt, and uh, I've attended your classes, but I did not answer the exam because of some personal commitments. So I am a working student, and I've cleared all my other papers in the first attempt. This is my last paper, mm-hmm. and somehow I have this mm-hmm. fear of you know theoretical papers. That's why this one's left for the last. So, uh, my pro- mm-hmm. problem with me is I like I'm a bullet point person or a numbers person. I can give one bullet point, but I find it very difficult to expand on it, or you know, to explain the point. So, uh, mm-hmm. what do you suggest I should do? Is it only practice, or you know, um, should I uh, do something beyond that, like go to the textbook or? Oh no no no! Forget the textbook. So you have theoretical mm-hmm. knowledge of important topics, basic knowledge. Yeah, more or less. Although I have to brush and up, you, but yes. And you are able to think of points, but in bullet, bullet Correct. style. Very right. short. That's fine. So just a little bit of practice of how to elaborate it more. It it will solve the problem. Okay, and sir, so you yesterday my, uh, you you attend my previous sorry. revision classes. You did not. Uh, no, I did attend, although not all of them, but yeah, most of them I've attended. So I think this time you should, this time uh, you should attend properly the practice classes and then try to draft some answers after the class on your own. It can mm-hmm. only be improved through practice. Okay. And so yesterday you had spoken about this uh, high achiever who scored 92, you would get her on today's mm. orientation class. Yeah, yeah, So did yeah, that yeah. happen? I'm see. sorry, I attended a little late. No, no, no. no. Thanks for reminding. Yes, in yesterday's uh, webinar, I had mentioned that I will bring the student who scored 92 marks. Unfortunately, she is in Mauritius and there is a great four cyclone hitting Mauritius right now. So okay. she messaged me, you know, there's a cyclone in Mauritius. There is no power and they're all running for safety. So she was not able to, she excused herself. So now I will bring her on in my webinar for March. I will definitely, you know, try to uh, bring her in the webinar, which will happen uh, first week of Feb. Okay, thank you. All right. Maria, is your mic working now? Try. No, dear. So can you just type your question in the chat box and I will look at it. Uh, so I'm moving to the chat box now. Farid is, uh, Fai, Fai is, Fai, Fai, Fai is asking that I got 31%. Mm-hmm. In December, I'm a full-time job. Will it be possible to release it in March? Uh, it looks difficult for me because you scored quite less, uh, telling me that your theoretical knowledge also needs a lot of time for improvement. So, you know, since you are a working student, I would suggest that you plan for June because if you can give five to six hours daily, then March. Otherwise, if you can't give five to six hours daily, then plan for June. Vivek is saying I got 46 first time and I have been preparing AFM. Okay, Vivek is saying that I gave SBL in December. I scored 46 and have been preparing for AFM since December. 
can i try both in march working student no dear first of all you are a working student so you will not have a lot of time to do justice to both the papers number one and number two as i mentioned earlier whenever you give sbl along with any other paper then there is very high chance that sbl will get stuck again so if you are in the flow of afm i suggest you continue with afm you pass afm and then you give SBL as a standalone paper. Is there any chance to get? So Vimi is asking, is there any chance to get only pre-seen workshop and grand revision? Absolutely, yes. Uh, you can directly enroll in the pre-seen grand revision workshop. Obviously, there will be no practice there. We will not be solving any past papers or anything. It will just be a discussion around the pre-seen material. But yes, you can. Zishan is saying, is there any referral discount? <laughs> I honestly don't know. Just check out with my admin and uh, they'll guide you on this. How much for revision? Um, I mentioned, I think, $105. How many questions should we practice per day starting from now? Um, you can do at least two, I mean, not case studies, but one or two questions. And that should be more than enough because we have six weeks. So you can do two or three questions. So you can do one paper in two days or three days, one case study. If you are a self-study student, if you're a paid student, then you just follow my instructions. Again, Bryna, you have the same question as the student before. Uh, please don't attempt both papers together. Go with SBR and think about SBL at a later thing. Yes, uh, Shathani. Yes, if you can give five hours each day, it's more than enough. You can go for March attempt. But plus, first, do your basic theoretical knowledge through the top 25. Yes, Hassan Al-Madhi, uh, 42 marks, again, shows theoretical deficiency. If you can give three hours, you can go for March. But at least three hours should be there on a daily basis. First, start with top 25 and then give more time to practice or you can enroll in my revision batch. Uh, Maria Munawar, please ignore my previous webinars because it was the time management and other techniques were not based on pre-seen. So you can either watch my September or December webinar or best would be that you watch my March webinar, which will happen uh, first week of Feb. Rahul, we will do at least five case studies in revision batch plus two or three mocks. So around seven to eight past papers in the revision batch. Ahmed Malik, yes, you can, but there's a slight risk that when you give two papers, SBL gets stuck. But if you're confident, because you have a lot of time, if you are confident that you can manage both papers properly, then go for it. I'm Which sorry, webinar? can I ask you something? Just sorry. give me a minute, let complete my, yes, uh, uh, who's this? Amira. Okay, just let me complete the questions on the chat yes, box. Sure. Thank you. Which webinar should be watched for June sitting? For June sitting, you can, there's a lot of time. You can watch September 2023, December 2023, and then later on March 2024. What's the fees for pre-seen workshop and grand revision? I don't remember, but I think it was 45 US dollars. Uh, Siri, Siri, I mean, uh, your score is 42. This means that you lack some theoretical side and you lack some practice. So, you know, uh, you need to join the reset batch or if you feel confident about your theoretical knowledge, then the re revision batch. 
Mohammad Hamza, since you're a full time student, you can give time. So you should not waste March attempt. Go give SBL in March and join the reset batch. Mehran Habib, you scored 40. Okay, so if your theoretical knowledge is good, then join the revision batch directly. But if you feel that you need some theoretical uh, knowledge, then you must join the reset batch. Okay, Shakti, up to you. But you need to practice properly using the self-study plan, okay? Where you offered more practice, the reset batch. Reset batch has four or five extra questions which are not there in the revision batch. Yes, Ahmed, if you're a full-time student, you can go for SBL in March, but you need to, uh, you know, use my top 25 and then join the reset batch or the revision batch. All right. Okay, Amira. Yeah, hi, sir. So my question is like, I, I as I mentioned before, I never did an uh, exam before. So you think I'll be able to do in the March sitting? Yeah, yeah, it's not that difficult. It's just okay. common sense. Yeah, okay. So uh, I try my best to give like at least um, minimum three hours every day. So let's see how it goes then. Yeah. All right. Okay, thank you. All right, guys, any more questions before we sign off? All right, guys. So thanks a lot for joining. Uh, this is my WhatsApp number. If you remember any other questions, reach out to me. Okay. And I will see most of you shortly in the reset batch or the revision batch. All right, guys. Thanks a lot for joining. Guys, take good care and good night.